up? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a video. I was gonna say a makeup tutorial, but this is not a makeup tutorial. This is my must have all time favorite drugstore makeup. These are products that I believe in 100%. These are products that I feel like you should have in your collection. And I love these products. These are products that I stand by, products that sometimes I even prefer over my high end beauty products. Like these are my go to, these are my favorite. These are the products that I always repurchase. I really wanted to do this video because the drugstore can be totally overwhelming and you really can't try stuff on like when you go to the drugstore if you're lucky enough to find something that's open and you can kind of sneak in a little swatch then you are lucky but for the most part everything is very much sealed every single time I go to the drugstore the products are tip-top sealed it's like the secret service owns the products like I could never find a product that I can swatch before I buy it. I usually just buy it blindly and if it works out great, if it doesn't work out, I try to return it. Sometimes I totally forget that I even own it. So these are the products that you need to have in your collection from the drugstore to get a piece of paper, take out your phone, open up notes and write these products down because I promise you, you will love all of these products, at least I do. I hate having my hair straight because I feel like I constantly need to have it in position. Like, line up, soldiers. Line up. Okay, so let's start off with skincare. I only have one stuff to show you with skincare. I do have a primer, but I'm not sure if that counts as skincare, so I'm just gonna start with this. <laughs> so this is the Pixie by Petra. Every time I see Petra, I think of Jane the Virgin, which yesterday's episode was awesome. I'm not really too sure how I feel about the ending, so we have to wait till January to figure things out, but it was a little bit confusing at first. It ended up being great. I don't know why I'm talking about Jane the Virgin, but yeah, anyways. So um, again, this is called the Pixie by Petra Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Black Oat. I love this stuff. I love, love, love this stuff. You can find this at your local Target. I think Target is the only place that you can find the Pixie. I'm not really sure, maybe Amazon, um, but I'll look it up and put it in the description box down below. I actually have this on under my makeup. This is the first thing that I apply before applying makeup. I feel like this hydrates the skin. It gets it ready for makeup. It's so, it feels so good, it feels so nourishing, and it does, since it does have hyaluronic acid, I feel like it makes an improvement in the way my pores look and the way my texture looks after applying makeup if I use this beforehand. I absolutely love this. I also know that they do have a dewy one. I haven't tried that one yet, but the Milky Mist is amazing and I love it. Whenever, wherever you are, you can just spray this and it just gives you kind of like a little plump and a little bit of a refresh on the skin. I said that's so weird. But yeah, I love the Milky Mist. Uh oh, it sounds so yummy. It makes me remind it reminds me of a Milky Way, which I love. Next, I want to talk about a primer. I'm not sure if this is a baby one or a sample. I've always bought this one, and whenever I see another YouTuber using this, I feel like their bottle just looks so much larger, but I've always just found this one. And this is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. This is very, very similar to the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer if not identical and I actually prefer this one better it's really cheap and it does exactly the same thing I love this this has a white consistency my bottle is destroyed I don't know if you can tell with all of the lights but I love this I <laughs> I am obsessed with this primer like I said I prefer this over my expensive primers I feel like it does an amazing job at smoothing my skin filling in my pores and just giving me a flawless canvas to go in with my foundation. So I love this. Love it. There's a couple of foundations that I absolutely love that I need to talk about. And the first one, well, let's, let's do these two together. And it is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and the L'Oreal True Match, just the original True Match. I love these. This foundation, the L'Oreal True Match, is actually what I carry in my kit whenever I go ahead and do a client. Unless the client requests for a specific foundation or finish, if they don't have any like requests, then this is a foundation that I take because it just looks so beautiful on pretty 
much every single skin type i haven't had a problem with this foundation i know some people can say that it makes them look a little bit oily i've never had that problem i feel like this is a very natural kind of satin finish foundation you can even make it matte if you really set it with a powder but i absolutely love this foundation i feel like the undertone is just perfection i love it um i use this quite a lot i have gone through i think this is the foundation that i have probably bought the most and then i also like the lumi version of this one and lately my skin well not lately i've been talking about how my skin is more on the dehydrated side and a little bit more on the drier side recently so i have been using this one a little bit more than this one sometimes i'll mix them both together because this one gives me the coverage and this one gives me the finish i think together they are perfect so i also love 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 this one because it gives you that natural glowy dewy skin and i love love this this is a little bit more lightweight than this one i feel like this one definitely has a little bit more coverage this is a little bit more lightweight and more dewy whereas this one's a little bit more matte and more satin but i love these two foundations like so the next foundation i feel like you guys already know which one it's going to be because i have been raving about this foundation for the past couple of months and it is the elf foundation serum i love this foundation like this foundation is my jam i love it i discovered this foundation actually on on accident <laughs> I discovered this foundation actually by accident. I went to Target because I really wanted to film an e.l.f. one brand tutorial. I had everything except foundation and I saw this and it caught my eye and I was like, hmm, let's give it a chance. You know, let's, let's try it out and it has been the best thing that I have bought from e.l.f. I love this foundation. It's very light. It's very liquidy. Like I said, this is a serum foundation, so it's very thin in consistency. I love to wear this on the days that I just want a little something, but nothing too crazy, and I kind of want my skin to still peek through and look kind of natural. I wear this to work a lot because it looks like skin, but better. You can still see your freckles underneath. It does cover a blemish if you need to, for it to cover a blemish, but it's not like a crazy intense thick foundation like the one i'm about to show you next it's very lightweight it's very beautiful it's a perfect golden undertone so if you have a yellow olivey undertone you will love the shades i have mine in light medium and it fits me perfectly i i love this foundation which is the complete opposite of the next foundation i'm going to talk about which is the milani conceal and perfect three in one foundation i love this foundation this is a foundation that i go for whenever i want a really intense coverage like whenever i want something that's like whoa you definitely have makeup on and where are your imperfections this is a foundation that i go for from the drugstore i am in the shade number three one thing i do have to say about the foundation is that finding the shade is a little bit harder i went through about three different colors before i finally got to the shade that suits my skin tone best so that is a little bit of a pain in the butt but if you can get through that then you will love this okay so let's talk about some concealers i have three here but they are the same exact concealer it is the maybelline instant h rewind concealer if you don't have this in your collection i don't even know if you like makeup if you are into makeup then you need to have this in your collection because this concealer is awesome as you guys can see mine are very much well loved like this is almost empty this one not so much because i use this one to correct but the other two are very much loved and they are very much used and they desperately need to be replaced but these concealers are awesome they are full coverage they are very hydrating under the eyes they do not cake up they do not crease they're awesome and they feel very lightweight. I love them. I do have a couple different shades because I use them for different things. I have one in my actual shade, which is medium, light medium. I use this to just conceal dark circles. I have one in the shade neutralizer and this is going to help you highlight because it's more of a yellow tone base. So this is definitely going to brighten up your face. And then I have another one in the shade brightener in 
illuminator it's more of a pink salmon and i like to apply this as a color corrector and also to kind of highlight just a little bit but not too much because it is pretty pink so if you go overboard it's not going to look too nice, but I do love it to color correct under the eyes. I love the shade brightening. Talking about concealers, I have another Maybelline concealer that I absolutely love. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now, this is a little bit more of a light, thinner consistency than the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Sometimes I even prefer this one over my NARS. I probably have, like, no lie, if you look in my collection right now, my NARS concealer is probably more full than my Maybelline concealer because I like this one more. I feel like this one's a little bit more illuminating. I feel like it has a little bit more coverage, but it's still very nice and thin. It is so light in consistency. It definitely makes your under eyes look very nice and hydrated. So I really, really like this. I use the shade 20 and then I also have the shade 15 for when I want to go a little bit lighter. Sometimes I mix both of them just to come up with my perfect shade. But for the most part, I always use shade number 20. Okay, let's finish with the face. I want to talk about some setting powders and I have two setting powders that I want to talk about. The first one is the Airspun Loose Airspun. I have the translucent extra coverage. You can find this in Walmart. Navarro has them if you're from South Florida. And also, I want to say maybe Walgreens. I know that I got mine at Navarro, I want to say. But you can pretty much find them anywhere. Well, not anywhere. CBS doesn't have them, but you know what I mean. You're, they're easy to find. So um, I love this powder to set my under eyes. It's actually what I use to set my under eyes today. I love this for baking my contour. Powders can be really expensive. And sometimes we waste a lot of powder doing something really silly that people are not even going to notice. So I rather use a cheaper powder to kind of cut down the contour, clean up the contour, or do certain things other than my expensive powder because they're expensive. The Laura Mercier powder I think is about $38 and this is like 10 bucks. So for cleaning up the contour and things like that, it's just in my opinion, it's just wasting powder. I don't feel like it changes my foundation and it doesn't make my foundation look any different. It does not have a white cast. It just it photographs beautifully. So I rather waste my cheap powder on cleaning up my contour than wasting my expensive powder. If that makes any sense, maybe I'm sounding like a complete cheapskate and I should probably call my boyfriend because it is all his fault he has changed me and he has not changed me for the better no he hasn't next okay another powder is the Maybelline fit me set and smooth powder and this is for normal to dry skin and I love love this powder to set my under eyes you need this powder in your collection I have the shade 110 which is in porcelain. This powder is so beautiful. It is very thin in consistency. It has a luminosity to it. It reminds me so much of the MAC, what are they called? They remind me a lot of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. They feel very, very the same, like texture, color payoff, everything. I love this. This is the one from normal to dry skin because again, I want something that's a little bit more hydrating and that it doesn't look crappy under the eyes because my under eyes are pretty dry once again. Um, so yeah, I love this powder. I feel like you need it in your collection if you are a powders girl. So moving on to blushes, I want to talk about two specific ones. They're both from the same brand, so I'm just going to put them together. I feel like Wet n Wild has the best blushes, the best formula, the best color. I I love their blushes. I know a lot of people like the Milani blushes. Milani blushes, blushes. Milani, Milani blushes, they are great as well. But I kind of like these a little bit more. I love the Milani ones, but for the price, you cannot beat Wet n Wild. They are awesome. And then also from Wet n Wild, I love the shimmering palette. This one is in the shade I'll Have a Cosmo. I love these as blush toppers. I sometimes, I can't even open it. <laughs> I sometimes use these over my other highlighters, like my other pink highlights, because this just looks 
so beautiful on the skin it's actually what i have on top of my blush today i love this it makes your skin look very dewy it makes it look very illuminated and highlighted and it's not chunky it's not glittery it's perfect it is very very beautiful as a blush topper these particular colors look absolutely beautiful and there it is right there can you guys see the it's just very subtle it's very beautiful i love these again i sometimes prefer these over my expensive ones and it brings a lot of product so you are not going to run out of this baby and i think they're like four bucks what a wild i don't know how they do it they are so inexpensive they are awesome i'm done with the face and we're going to move on to eyes there's a couple things that i think you definitely need to try from the drugstore in the eye section so um yeah let's get started i definitely feel like brands need to come out with more of a transition shade or you know a really good dark black shadow but i have found some eyeshadows from the drugstore that i think they are bomb they are amazing and you definitely need to try them um i want to talk about the l'oreal infallible pro shadows these eyeshadows are amazing. They're a little bit more on the pricier side for them to be drugstore. I think these retail for about, I don't know, I think 10 or more, um, is it? Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I know they're on the higher end at the drugstore, but they are amazing. The formula is amazing. The color payoff, the pigmentation, they're just awesome. The first color is Amber Rush. This is a beautiful rose gold champagne type of color. I think you need this in your collection, especially if you are a neutral type of girl and you love a little bit of sparkle. I think this will be the perfect shade for you. And then another favorite is this emerald green and it is called Golden Sage. Is it Golden Sage? Yeah, Golden Sage. And they are very pigmented, very creamy, very beautiful. And you will love the formula, the pigmentation, how they apply. They're awesome. They almost have like a foiled wet look. I absolutely love them. I also want to talk about the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. I have raved about these shadows all summer long like i raved about them these are more of a moussey more wet consistency whereas these are a little bit more powdery the what the ones by elf are definitely a lot more moussey if i were to ever create an eyeshadow this would be the first color i would ever create because it's so beautiful did i even tell you guys the name it's called toast by elf and i love it it's very high shine very pigmented like i said they are a little bit more on the creamier side but they are not creasy. So you can put this all over your lid and you don't have to worry about it creasing because since it does have, I don't know, I have like a wet finger. Let me just, there. Once this is on the lid, it stays put. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I raved about these eyeshadows throughout the whole entire summer. So moving on to liners, there is a black eyeliner I wanna talk about and then there's a nude neutral liner that I feel like you need in your collection. The first one, surprise, surprise, it is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest black black is black i love this gel liner this eyeliner is so inexpensive and it is the darkest liquid not liquid i always say liquid it's not liquid it's gel this is the blackest gel liner i have ever used i love this liner i have gone through a couple of these and of course you guys know that i'm going to talk about the rimmel nude eyeliner this eyeliner has been through so much with me like i love this liner it's what i have in my waterline today i prefer this over any expensive eyeliner any of them i would pick this over it has to be that i find like a super glue liner pretty much i feel like this is perfect it does exactly what i want it to do it stays on all day it doesn't smudge it doesn't run it's perfect it's pigmented it's creamy and i think it's only 1.99 i want to talk about an eyebrow pencil and i think you guys already guessed it it is the nyx micro brow pencil and i love this pencil to be quite honest i have used this particular pencil more than I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencils. I feel like 
I know there's a little bit of an if and or and buts and stuff, but I like this better. I feel like it's a little bit more waxy. It's a little bit thicker. I have two different colors. I have espresso and I have brunette and I mix and match them. Like right now I'm using brunette just because my hair has gotten a little bit lighter and I think espresso is a little bit too dark. So I definitely do mix and match them. Sometimes I use brunette in the inner corners and then I go in with espresso in the outer corners just to kind of give the brow kind of like a more natural, what's that word? ombre effect. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, let's move on to lips. Let's do this really quickly. I want to talk about some lip liners and I have mentioned these in the past and they are the Jordana Lip Pencils. These are the best drugstore lip pencils ever. They have every single color. Carly Bell, in my opinion, was the one that first brought them into the YouTube world. I love these pencils. They're very pigmented. They stay on the lips. I love it. My favorite color is Tawny. It's very natural. It's the perfect lip liner to go under any lipstick because it's a very natural color. You can overline your lips with this particular color. I love them and they're only a dollar. Yes. The last two products and then we are done. Um, it's two lip products and they're both by NYX. One is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and the other one is the NYX Butter Glosses. If you don't have these in your collection, you definitely need them. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, they add a tint of color to the lips. They stay on all day, super matte. I love these. I have almost every single shade because they are awesome. So if you have not tried these, you've heard about them, let this be the sign for you to go out and get some because they are awesome. <laughs> So creepy. NYX Butter Glosses are my favorite drugstore glosses. It's the gloss I have on my lips right now. I love them. My favorite color is in the shade Fortune Cookie. I also love Madeline. I also love, what's the other one? Tres Leches, I want to say. I'm not sure, but I love them. They are very pigmented. They are very high shine, as you guys can see. They don't budge. They don't bleed. They don't leave your lips. I love them. If you are a lip gloss lover, like myself, you will love the NYX Butter Glosses. I promise you, you will love them. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. I am very sorry if I talked too much or if I showed too many things. It's just, I love drugstore makeup and I feel like it's so underrated. And I wanna show you guys that you can find great products at an affordable price and you don't need to spend a lot of money. Please let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see from me. I have a ton of holiday looks coming up. I'm really excited. It's finally December. It's my favorite time of well, No, by the time this video goes up, it won't be December yet. But it will be December the day after this video goes up. Yeah. It's my favorite time of the year. I love the holidays. I love Christmas. So I'm really excited to create some awesome looks from you guys. So let me know in the comments your requests. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you made it through the end of this video, I love you very much. And I'm so thankful for you. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. The peanut butter to my sandwich. No. I have a lot of variety. Variety. The heavy duty. Duty, duty, duty. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Have hair in my mouth. Awesome, wholesome, right? I'm a rush. I realize it's from Matt. Girl, do it together. I need water after that one. Hey, sister, so sister. Gonna get that dough, sister. I don't even know if that's what the song says. To be.